Welcome to New Testament Survey 2. My name is Clint Schreiber and I'll be your professor for this class. And there's a couple of things I wanted to go over in the class before you begin. If you look in, in the uh, online class, so you'll notice the first thing is an introduction to Schoology. You can use that uh, to help you to navigate through Schoology and uh, it's sort of a tutorial to help you out. If you're familiar with it, you won't probably need that, but it's there for your resource. The second folder, you, and then there are two more folders. The second one you've obviously opened up, which is the, this folder where you saw this introductory video. Also in that folder, you'll notice there's a course overview paper uh, or, or page that you can open up, and I have that with me in front of me, and that's what I want to go over with you. There's also a, a chapter content uh, page, and then there's a New Testament theme and, and chapter number page that you can open up for reference. After that, the other folder is a blue folder, and that's your class course material and work. And you'll simply go through that as you go through the class, and it's sequential, one after the other one, and you'll, you'll go through each of those things and submit them until the end of the class. So now I want to go through that class overview. This is a survey of the books and a general history of the New Testament. Special emphasis is given to the author, background, and purpose of each book, as well as the doctrinal theme. So that's what we'll do. We'll go, we'll do after an introduction, which was actually a New Testament survey one, and then now we're just going to continue with the books. I think we'll start with 2 Corinthians and we'll go all the way through to Revelation. I'll give you an outline that you can use to teach from, and it's just going to be an overview of the books, the author, and, and some other things. Your text, if you've taken New Testament survey one, is the same one. It's New Testament Bible History by Ray Richard Hester. So the classwork that you'll be doing in the uh, class material is uh, you will do some You'll watch the videos, and then there'll be handbook um, sort of quizzes or questions that you can take. Those are open book. You're welcome to use a book uh, to answer those questions. You'll read. So if the handbook is the book of Romans, you'll read that chapter in the textbook, and the questions will come from that chapter, and you're welcome to have the book open to answer those questions. You'll submit that for a homework grade. Then uh, you'll uh, have quizzes. The quizzes will be over chapter content, and again, those are in your course material. Uh, you'll make use of that reference page in the um, Welcome the New Testament Survey 2 folder. Open it up and there's the chapter content. So if it says chapter content of Galatians, then you'll study that chapter content for Galatians and then take that quiz. And that will be your quiz grade. And then there'll be, uh, I think, four tests that you'll take. Each of those tests then has a study guide with it. And part of that test may have you answering New Testament theme and chapter number questions, which will be uh, the other resource page that you'll open up in that folder, and you'll study for that part. In addition to that, the only other thing that will be required to finish this course is that you'll write two papers. Both of them are three to four pages. The first paper will be you'll do a study on a, on a Bible character, somewhat lesser known Bible character. You can look those things up on the internet to get a list of characters if you like. Or if there's one that you might be interested in, I suggest you could write it on that. Three to four pages, usually a source for each page. So three to four sources, three to four pages. And, uh, you're, you, and you can use electronic books, that's fine. Uh, half of those can be uh, references, internet sources and things. I don't mind if you use electronic books, but I'd like you to read through some material for the papers. Uh, then. The second paper uh, is, there's a number of things here that you can do that paper on. Angels in the New Testament, for example, the death of the apostles, or one of them. Uh, the, one of the seven churches of Revelation, do a study on that. Uh, Pauline City, uh, or any of the things that are there would be fine. The crucifixion of Christ, you could do it on that. Now those are research papers, so you're researching the material and, and giving me the summary of your research. So I expect citations to be involved in that because you're uh, giving a summary of other people's work. Some of the papers that I'll give from time to time will be your own thoughts. These are research papers, and so you're, you're getting out there, you're reading things, you're uh, assimilating information and, and, and putting it on, 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 a, on a piece of paper. So uh, make sure you include an outline, a title page, the body, and then I would like you to put a bibliography so that I can see some of the books that you use and make some suggestions or maybe tell you some things that you might want to avoid. Again, welcome to New Testament Survey 2, and I uh, hope that both of us reach our goals for this class, uh, mine in trying to help you the best I can to understand the New Testament better, and then whatever goals you might have to complete those. Thanks again.